They say knowledge is power, but you need the wisdom to understand what this actually means. Welcome to the Decoding Health Podcast. I am your host, Dr. Urban A. Kiernan. Each week, we will share the stage with renowned experts as we dismantle the black box of knowledge and unravel the complexities of science and its practical applications in our daily life. This show is committed to illuminating topics ranging from personal health and wellness to cutting edge biopharmaceutical advancements and beyond. Let's get started. So there's been a rising discussion in like the carnivore diets, the ketogenic diets. What are the benefits to these diets that aren't just on the outside, that aren't just looks, but actually internal health wise? Gotcha. Um, and, and this is this is a very complex issue because the 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 two commonalities between those two diets is this you're just restri- restricting carbohydrate intake to an extreme. And when, when just remember carbohydrates as a macronutrient is just pure energy. That's all it does. Now you're, you're taking from a Western diet standpoint, your primary source of energy and you're removing it from the equation. And so this is where the fats come into play and being able to go and take those fats and make it into something that your body can actually utilize to do every single day life functions as well as to keep your, your, your cells alive. Um, there's no way of going from fat to a glucose molecule. And that the glu- a glucose is the single unit of, you know, if you eat a potato, you know, starch, you, you wind up with these starches and it gets broken down into glucose units. And then that's what starts the entire energy development process within your body. That never happens off of a fat. You're living off of these molecules known as ketones. There you go, the ketogenic diet is you are intentionally trying to go and and make ketones for your, your energy fuel source. That is a very, very different process. Uh, in which, you know, from the aesthetic standpoint, when your body, and the same thing too with the, the, the um, uh, carnivore diet, because you're just basically eating meats, some berries. Um, you know, that's that's about it. Um, your your energy needs are coming from that fat, and your body winds up being conditioned to utilize fat purely for this this energy process. And back to your point regarding the aesthetics, yeah, people become shredded off of this stuff because your body, especially if you're in a deficit is going to take your natural body fat and just start using it for energy. And so people lean up very, very quickly. And I'm, I'm a personal product of that. Normally in my life, I'm, I'm ketogenic. But another benefit to this is when you are fully in ketosis, okay, that's the technical term is when your body is just utilizing ketones for energy. Um, we're gonna talk about your brain because ketones are actually the preferred energy currency for your brain over glucose. I always re- refer to glucose as like heroin or, or crack for your brain. If it's there, your body's gonna automatically default to using it. The thing is though, it's not necessarily, it isn't the best fuel for your brain. I've actually even had people comment on some of our, our episodes, you know, regarding, um, you know, cause I'm very anti-sugar and they're like, well, that's literally what your brain uses for energy. Well, yeah, it does. If that's the only thing you're giving it, um, your brain prefers to operate on, on, on ketones. And again, to get to that point of, it's called fat adaptation. So you're, you're in ketosis for a period of four to six weeks. And normally you have to go through the whole keto flu where you feel really, really sick. But once you kick out on the other side and your brain, your whole body is fat adapted, your brain is operating on a totally different level. If you're ready to enhance your wellness with personalized care designed to optimize performance, Look no further than Foresight Chiropractic. Utilizing state-of-the-art gentle and non-invasive techniques, Dr. Lavender and his dedicated team are here to help you recover quickly. Feel your best and reach new heights in your performance. Visit them at foresightchiropractic.com and don't forget to mention the Decoding Health Podcast when you book your appointment to receive a free consultation and special discount on a nervous system exam. 
Once again, that's foresightchiropractic.com. The biggest seller for me when it comes to doing a ketogenic lifestyle is the fact I love the way how my brain feels on keto. Like you don't stumble, you don't like mentally stumble or trip. Like you are razor freaking sharp. You probably don't realize it when you're in it until the first time you get kicked out of it. And this happened to me the first time, went to a Chinese restaurant and that's Chinese diet is not very keto friendly. No, definitely not. Broke, broke my diet. I was there with my family, had some dumplings and stuff. I'm like, oh wow, this is so tasty. This is so good. Literally five minutes later, I had to take the keys out of my pocket, put them on the table. And I said, somebody else has to drive. I felt like I was drunk just because my body was now being exposed to sugar and my brain was trying to kick over to sugar. And it left me with this drunk, intoxicated feeling. And I know there's other people out there, if you go and you look into it, they'll all verify this type of, of result. So, you know, this is one of those things like afterwards, and you know, I corrected that and it took me about a week to get my body all in alignment. I had to ask myself the question is that intoxicated feeling from glucose, is that the way my normal brain function was on a Western diet and now being out of that into something that's more high efficiency, <laughs> you know, it, it, it raised a tremendous uh, number of questions in my mind regarding like, are we operating at what level of you know, functional efficiency are our brains doing? So yes, there is that aesthetic aspect, both carnivore and, um, and, and ketogenic lifestyles, they are very hard to maintain here in the US because it's so carb centric. And again, take the food pyramid, throw it in the garbage because it's stupid. Um, if you wanna take your brain to the next level, I highly recommend the ketogenic diet. It's just, it will, it will make you a mental superhuman. Like, and I'm not kidding with that. So that's, that's the biggest appeal to me. Oh, and you know, with that said, there's a lot of uh, key, ketone products that are out there that you can buy as a supplement. And they sit there and say, your brain prefers to work on ketones. So you just go and take this supplement and you'll be putting ketones into your diet. Yes, that's true. But you're not giving your body a reason to switch over to the other fuel source. If you're constantly giving you glucose, you have to deprive your body of glucose and get it to switch over to ketones in order to get that switch. It just, it, it doesn't make sense otherwise. So there's a lot of products out there that are trying to capitalize on this well-known fact that your brain works at a super high level when you're on ketones, but the key thing is, is you have to have no glucose, no sugar, whether it be from just taking pure sugar or eating a potato, and then your body's making the, the sugar from that starch. You have to remove that totally from your diet, and then your body will naturally gravitate over into that fat, ad, fat adaptation, and then giving you that brain effect, because it is it is pretty outstanding. I, I will say so myself. Gotcha. Yeah, awesome. you can't have the best of both worlds. Oh, you no. got to pick one. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, maybe as Americans, you know, we just, we need to kind of wise up on a lot of things. And that's part of the reason why we're having the problems that we're having is we think that we can, you know, have the best. There is no free lunch. I always say that on this show. There's, there's a trade-off on this. And so it is what it is.